The Sorrow of the Walking Lord, a prayer of St. G. We upon the earth are drawn to you, come to you, yet of a seeming plague stumble, fall, and the plague is a power more than we. And say, Sovereign Lord, placed not against us, but against you, you the child in jeopardy when Cain killed Abel, and when the prophets were killed, when Joseph was thrown into the pit, and Moses set adrift in Egypt, who fled to Egypt against the ravenous Herod, and other innocents were murdered, who in a tiny village was scorned as a bastard, was perhaps misshapen in some way, lived quietly with no foreseen future, always hovering the great devil, owner of the wilderness, its temple mount, its promises. Like us, alone beside the invisible silent spirit who prayed as we, though uncertain of the answers, the timing, the effort, our role in it. Like us, answered your own prayers, mistrusting the time and place and hearing of the Lord. For was it a fragile man? Yea, and also Lord of all. We do not understand. How that the Lord was formed a chaos how that the earth was formed to chaos, then brooded upon, and drawn up to life and shape and color and taste, then wasted centuries, millennia, while the great story unfolded, and all who were to be brought in were brought in, taught us never to revile, to calm our spirit to meekness, though within we froth like the chaos at creation. And we are to look always to the Father as you, for we know not the way. Yes, we quietly stumble to your cross, a way we would not choose. And shall we learn our own Gethsemane to sweat blood against the devil's desires and to think not of ourselves, but of the great unity of men which will be. All this for naught, nay, for everything. The Lord will have his desires unto his perfection, unto his glorious holiness. And we, the children of the great King, veterans of the wars of Satan, as you, our brother. And he, like lightning, fell far from grace, and with him many. But we, children of the light, escape the darkness, running to you who knows us well. <laughs>